Hello, I'm Amir Fasal. In this video, we learn about the map function in Python. So map function is a higher order function, something called a higher order function. And yeah, so before uh, looking at the map function, let's make a function, normal function that takes a number and returns the square of that number. So for example, we will create a function named square and it takes it, the input is a number and the output is the square of that number. So square, square of five is 25. So we, when we call the function square with the input five, it should return 25, okay? And let's create this function, def square uh, number, this is the argument and return number multiplied by number, right? So square of three and returns nine, working good. Square of five, 25. Square of 1000, 1001 and this big number. <laughs> okay, so we, cre we have created a function what if we have a list of numbers? Numbers is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is a list, okay? We want to apply the square function to all of the elements of the numbers. We can use some, we can use iteration for this or maybe even recursion but a better way to do it is with the higher order function, easier way. So say map, then we feed in the square function. We just have to say the, the function name, square and numbers. So hit enter. So the map function returned a map object. So the type is map. So map, then the first argument is the function name the function that we have created. You, we can actually use a user defined function or a built in function as well, no problem. Here we have an iterator. So the map syntax is map, then the first argument should be a function and the second argument is the iterator. We can actually use more than one iterators. So um, iterator means we can use a list, tuple or whatever. So the returned is a map object. Don't worry, we can actually see. So let's say we, we just have to uh, convert the map object into a list. For that, we can call the list function, right? So see, when we call the list function, we can actually see what is exactly happened and the result. So the result now here is a list. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. So with the map function, we have applied the square function to the all the elements in the list numbers. We don't exactly have to say the list as an identifier. We can also use, for example, map square a, for example, a tuple, one, three, six, okay? So let's call it. Oh, yeah, I, I missed a parenthesis. So see, um, one squared is one, three squared is nine, six squared is 36, right? So we, we supplied a tuple and it converted it, it it did all the uh, square functions, applied the square function on each element and it returned, the map function returned a map object and the our list function call at the outside converted the entire thing into a list. That's why 1936, okay? So the map syntax is the map, then the function, and the second argument should be an iter iterator, okay? Or a sequence, a sequence object. So let's say map, um, so we know the function len, right? Len 
hello will return the number of elements one two three four five so five elements in the string hello so len hello is five len dog is three len um, h is one okay let's apply this thing on a list map uh, first is len we supply the function len and make a list of three or four objects so banana banana lemon um, apple uh, grape okay so yeah so close the len close the map uh, yeah so the answer is six five 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 wow banana has three six characters lemon five apple five grape five so yeah see the len function is applied on each of the elements in the sequence object right that's what happened here so we can actually use earlier in the in the map we used the square function that we have created we can actually use a lambda function so for example map instead of saying square we can create a an anonymous function on the fly so number number multiplied by number okay and that's the first this entire thing will return a function which is the square function we don't have to name it here so square and numbers the list that we have created oh i forgot to convert that into a list list and at the end close the parentheses so see one four nine sixteen twenty five maybe for transparency for understanding let's create a list of one two three okay see each number is is converted the the square numbers so map function will map the word map means what a, a, an association from one thing to the other right mapping so each each element in the list is uh, the, the function is applied on each element okay so let's create a two argument function map lambda x comma y x plus y okay so this function will add the two numbers and 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and the second we have to supply one more list here because this is a two argument function so we have to supply one more list here or any iterator so say 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 and close the lambda lambda so we have to call the list function so that we can see the result at the end okay map of so yeah so 11 22 33 44 the function will take two arguments and add it together so 1 and 10 is 11 20 and 2 is 22 3 and 30 is 33 4 and 40 is 44 okay so we can also create for example a multiplication um, function so wow this is interesting because 1 into 10 is 10 2 into 20 is 40 3 into 30 is 90 4 into 40 is 160 right so yeah and now this is map function is something called a higher order function higher order function a higher order function will take a function for example in this case it is taking a function and the output is in this case is a is a list or a sequence right map object is the result so map reduce filter these things are called higher order function functions and these functions either take a function as an input or it returns a function 
uh, as an output. But map reduce filter, these functions actually take a function. That's why higher order function, okay? So uh, map function, map object, when we call a map function, the object is a map function. So we can actually use something like this for element in map uh, square comma numbers and uh, print element. So one four nine sixteen twenty five because numbers see one two three four five right the squares of those numbers is one four nine sixteen twenty five. We use the map sequence instead of a list. Instead of converting into a list, we directly uh, use the map object here. That's why we can use it like this, okay? So thanks for watching this video. Share if you can and also uh, like, the, like the video. And also if you can, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.